Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish. I'm here reviewing the diamonds. This is the DIA, the indices for the Dow. And we did gap up this morning, follow through really from the rally from last night, but I don't see this holding. Uh, whether this falls today or whether we fall at the end of the week or into next week, I don't know. We're right here now. I would not be long this gap up. As people know, or if you don't know, I look at gaps every morning, preferably gap downs, but I do analyze gap ups, and this is a gap up in the market. So what happened here exactly? What is a gap up? Where stock closes at the night before this closed at 242.73 and opened this morning up higher, 244.06. I wouldn't call this a big gap up. Um, it could have held. Is it a gap up on support? That's true. This red line is a 200 period moving average. The eight is the black line here, but I really don't have any conviction here. This market's going to get any follow through to the upside. And this this rally here yesterday was absolute, had absolutely no meaning to me. There, there is no institutional buying that came in yesterday to hold the market up. I didn't consider that a big rally, even though if you theoretically bought the market yesterday as a day trader and held it all day, you were up. Uh, I would not have done that. We did gap down, um, and the market is, is here today. Right now, we're falling and we're lower. So half day today, <clears throat> I really think everyone should take it easy this week, no matter what, if you're an active day trader. But looking at the chart here, you can really see that we've pretty much gone nowhere since February. February, one, two, three, four, five, five full months. We've really had no traction at all. So be very careful if you're trading this week. I would not be long this gap up. It's not a good place to buy. Um, even though we're on the 200 premium moving average, people love to buy on that. Um, I don't see institutional money in here buying this gap up. I don't see this even from yesterday's rally. Um, that was not institutional buying. It was traders that like to buy those things called gap fills. And by the way, gap fills don't work. That's a discussion for another time. Maybe I can do another video on later. But uh, gap fills do not work as a way to consistently make money in the market. So one of the reasons I designed my own system, the Golden Gap 26 points, the rating system that I teach in the Golden Gap course is because the, most of the information that's out there on gaps is wrong, incorrect. And if you follow it, you'll lose. So I really devised a very good system to correctly pinpoint where buying or selling is coming into a stock made by institutions. And even though we rallied yesterday, and even though we closed green, that's true, it was an institutional buying. And I can tell that from the chart and from reading the gaps. So be careful. I really would not do anything today ever on a short day in the market. And um, you know, just be very, very careful here because this is not a place to go long. Um, and not even in the long term right now at this point because we don't know where we go in the market. Have a great, safe holiday, everyone. If you're interested in the next Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.